Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to get this lens distort camera movement effect inside of your Instagram reels. Now big shout out to these creators on screen as these guys were a huge inspiration for making this tutorial. So big shout out to you guys both. With that being said, practice footage will be down in the description below if you guys want to go ahead and follow along with this tutorial. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump straight into Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so now that you guys have your footage loaded up into the timeline. Let's go ahead and start off the tutorial by adding a new adjustment layer just like so. This is where the effect's gonna actually go ahead and be placed onto, so that way anything below gets affected by it. So if you have text, your A roll, B roll, whatever it is, it'll get affected by this sort of adjustment. So we're gonna go to effects. We're gonna go over here to lens distort or lens distortion, drag and drop it onto your video. Now, the effect mainly takes place in the curvature. Well, it actually does. We're gonna go ahead and hit the keyframe right here bring this zero value down to the end and we're just going to drag this sort of pretty crazy maybe we'll do something insane like that um honestly actually don't do that but for me i i want to do that because we're going to be zooming in quite a bit with another camera movement so this is what i'm going to go ahead and do i'm just going to go negative 100 and then i'm going to select both of these keyframes this one's already selected so i'm just going to select this one while holding down shift right click bezier I'm going to go ahead and select the last one, hit this icon just like so. I'm going to bring this over and down just so that way right here it meets into a flat line and it creates this little ramp over here. And then we're going to do this one up and over just like this. So that way it's like an exponential sort of um, drop off. And as you can see, you guys get that lens distort sort of effect going on. And it looks pretty dang good. But when it gets to the end right here, you guys can see it being very, very choppy and it doesn't look good. So what I propose you guys go ahead and do is one cut to B-roll, which is what I'm going to go ahead and do or kind of mask it with other effects. But honestly, I really recommend you guys cutting to other B-roll. It's unfortunate, yes, but this effect still is really cool. So honestly, it makes it pretty worth doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quick. I'd reposition this just like so. I'm going to go ahead and go to my viral effects pack, uh, which by the way, if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, it's what I use to color grade and edit all of my short form content with. I'm going to go ahead and use flat cinema, drag and drop it. I'm going to go to elementary color, turn the temperature down, increase the exposure. So we can actually see what's going on. And to me, that looks pretty dang good. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that over like so. And as you guys can see, base effect, this is kind of what we're having so far. It looks a little choppy, so I'm just gonna bring this over as well. Cool, that's looking pretty dang solid. And now let's go ahead and actually sauce up the effects to where it actually makes it look a lot better. First things first, I'm gonna go to the viral effects pack that I have and just do a simple sort of in animation using the saturation. So I'm just gonna start it from black and white to fade in to a normal sort of effect. I'm also gonna go over here to my viral edits template pack with the camera movements, go to pull hook, just like so, drag it on top. And that honestly makes it look a lot better than this. You just zoom in and it's also zooming out. Looks way smoother. And to me, that looks pretty dang good. And then let's go ahead and cut this adjustment layer so that way it's not affecting anything like that. And you guys can even go over here to the assets part where I have my actual um, replaceable transition overlay. So if you guys have your own transition, you replace the uh, overlay with what you want. We go to saturation, turn it down. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that part. Go ahead and just move this over and then go ahead and play it through. I'm also gonna go ahead and add in another camera movement or a scale out. So I'm gonna do 115 to 110, just like so. Cut it right here. Fire. As you guys can see, that effect looks really, really clean and it's actually really easy to do. But I just want to say a quick thank you to all of you guys who have been supporting the channel for the past couple of months. The support has been unreal and I'm genuinely very grateful for it. Anyways, that's it for me today. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.